Hey, Shovelhead Fetch here. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, how do I find and buy so many motorcycles? Like, you know, if I, I've had people, you know, even comment my wife, man. I mean, com make comments in the comment section. How do I get my wife on board? Well, I'm going to share a secret with you. Some of the old timers probably know. You get young guys, I'm sure you don't know. Is that, you know... When you go out there and you buy a lot of motorcycles, you always got to make sure that you get something for your wife. And so the other day I was like, you know, I've bought six motorcycles in the last month. <clears throat> she, you know, Miss Dee Dee hasn't said anything, but she kind of gives me that look. So I went out there and look what I got her. Look at that. Brand new GE wash machine from Lowe's. I mean, this is like the Honda Rebel of washing machines, you know? Keeps her happy. Young guys, listen to me. This is the way. And the only thing I can say is that when I do something like this, the look that my wife gives me can only be described as adoration and fiery love. I, you know, I mean, she is so appreciative for when I do stuff like that. Young guys, listen to us old guys. Can you get the hell out of here? God, I love that woman. This is a 1975 Harley Davidson FXE. And this bike is a total wreck. And when I say a total wreck, I don't mean that it was in a wreck. It's just, has not been taken care of. This bike is gonna have to be completely tore down to its frame. The motor's gonna be rebuilt. Everything that's rusty will be unrusted. It's got a lot of work. Brakes, shocks, wheels, motor, battery. This is out of a 1994 Evo electronic ignition. I have to have a new ignition. These fins are broke off. I'm going to need a new head. This is a 74 cubic inch motor. The carburetor is going to be completely redone. In fact, I have a carburetor in my mind of what I'm going to put on it. Those. Our front control is made out of rebar. It's a lot of work that's gotta be done to this bike. But when I get done with it, man, it's gonna look awesome. I'm gonna hate to give it away, but I'm gonna give it away. It's even missing the lights up here. I mean, you know, it's going to need all new brakes, all new, all new controls, it's going to need everything. Somebody's going to end up getting a good bike, man, when it's done. Good news, bad news. This is your clutch adjustment screw. It actually screws in there and you have a lock nut that goes to it. The good news is that there's two of them. The bad news is it's only supposed to be one. <laughs> I have no idea how the heck that happened. But suffice to say, I think probably this clutch didn't work. Anyway, gonna start taking this off. I don't know if you guys wanna watch me take it off or not. I'll film some of it. I like to work. I really don't like to film what I'm doing. I like to get stuff done, but uh, I'll film some of it, how I take off the primary. Earlier I said, there is a uh, um, there is a screw back here. I'm sorry, a bolt. It's got holes. Bolt. Hang on. See those holes? There's supposed to be a wire from there to there twisted. This doesn't have it. 
So somebody has definitely been into this and somebody has definitely not put it back together properly. But when you get it, it'll be done properly. It'll be done safe. It'll be working. Whoever gets this bike is going to get a fantastic bike, man. And the cool thing is you don't have to say, oh, I've got all the receipts. You're going to have a bunch of videos <laughs> to show what's been done to this bike. So anyway, let me get back on it. What you do is you take out the, uh, the clutch plates, which I'm pretty sure <laughs> these are going to be just effed up. Um, yeah, you're going to get new clutches. Whoever gets this bike is going to get new clutches. Might as well. They're not bad, bad, but they're not good, good. If that makes any sense. I mean, there's, if these were mine, I'd stick them back in there. But, uh, nope. We'll put new clutches in there. Uh, where's my tool? I got my, my tool to get these out. Come on, guys. There you go. Come on. Yeah. They're actually not bad. There was one that wasn't that, you know, that great, but they're not that bad. I would be sticking these back in. Um, in fact, I'd almost swear that, that, well, it's obvious somebody has done some work to this. You know, I think I say that to every bike, on every bike I do. Eh, it's obvious somebody did some work to this. All right, hold on. Let me get some, uh, let me go get my tool. Be right back. Okay, clutches are out. Uh, they all look good, <laughs> except this. Uh, but actually, the, the clutch is looking at them a little closer. They look pretty good. I would definitely reuse them. I'm not going to reuse them. Get some new uh, new clutches in there. Uh, the the hub, uh, the primary belt, uh, primary chain, and all that is ready to pull out. So what I have to do is take a nine sixteenth, loosen this up. Actually, take this off. Uh, as I pointed out before, this bolt and this bolt. Should have had should have been wired together. I'll take a uh, I think it's one and I think it's one and an eighth. It will turn that way. Uh, they make a tool that you put inside here um, to keep this from spinning when you when you go to take it out. Uh, there's an, one there's several ways of doing it. The tool's like nine bucks, but I uh, you know anyway. Uh, they're kind of pieces of crap, and I always lose them or I lend them out. One of the ways is you take a piece of wood, oak right here, or you can take a chisel or something like that. Uh, I like something soft. So I actually use this, which is a 3M, uh, you put sandpaper in it. I just wedge it in there like that, and uh, it, it was free, and didn't cost me anything, and uh, it'll come right out. All right, hold on. All right, I'm getting old and forgetful. It's an inch and a uh, and a half. Come on, you piece of crap. Put all that together down there. Wipe your hands off. See that? That held pretty dang good. And then you take this all off in one. Oops. There you go. I need a clean rag. just don't I mean look at that friggin gunk that's in there huh see that right there I don't know why that's sealed up either ah uh, must be a crack in there so uh, hmm. see what the heck's going on there might be cracked uh, so I end up probably having to get a new inner primary for it 
Uh, if not, I can get it welded. Uh, but I gotta take it off, see what the heck is going on. But there is all kinds of gunk. Look at this. I honestly don't think I've ever seen much gunk. I don't know what they, what they put. I have no idea. It's not metal though. It's almost like, I don't know, maybe they never, I don't know. It's terrible though. All right. You know, as I said in a lot of my videos, this is how I do things. Doesn't mean it's the right way to do. This is how I do it, and it works for me. Uh, I take all the parts, and I like to lay them out on the table close by, basically. Every clutch goes there, primary. Everything goes. Everything is kind of laid out pretty much how I've taken it. Uh, that way, parts don't get lost. Parts don't get mixed up or anything else like that. And if, it, if, it's, a, if, if it's a week or two... Um, before I start putting things together or a month or whatever it is, I, I know everything where everything goes and stuff like that. Sometimes, you know, when you get old, you can't rely on the old memory anymore. Um, one of the things that I noticed, uh, on this bike was when I pulled off the, um, when I pulled off or, or I drained the oil, this is a dry clutch. Uh, so there should be like a pint or so of fluid in there, but there was like, <laughs> there was a lot of oil in here so pretty sure right here i'm pretty sure that there's a seal leaking um and it's leaking out into this so that seal will have to be replaced um i still gotta uh i still gotta take off a few more things to to get the inner primary out gotta take off uh the uh not the starter, the, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, that thing, uh, the solenoid, uh, relay, yada, yada, I forgot what it's called, but I know what it does, um, anyway, and so I'm gonna take it off, but I like to stop right here, this is usually like the oiliest part, clean everything up, clean all the tools off, clean everything up, get everything nice and clean, and then then go on i like to stop i think you should have a clean shop to me a shop is basically an operating room can't have a dirty operating room so let me clean up wipe all this crap down and uh and i'll get back to uh pulling this off and i'll see you in a second okay I, I hate to keep saying this uh this is probably one of the most effed up bikes in here there's supposed to be, basically it's a washer that has tabs. It's called a tab washer. You bend over the tabs to lock it in the place. Uh, yeah, doesn't have one. That ain't good. In fact, I've never seen anybody install one without it. So eventually this was all gonna come apart. It's like here. See, this is a tab washer. That's a tab washer. They're supposed to be bent down. These wasn't even, these? These weren't even bent down. They were, they were not locked in. So, oh well. All right, I'm gonna take this off. In order to take this off, this is reverse threads. So this, you loosen it that way, not that way that way so it's almost like you're tightening it except you're loosening it and that's an inch and an eighth and there's water see the beads of water This is your clutch. Look at that. Oh, man. Do you see that? That's water. You see the beads of water? Uh, it's poor bike, man. Look at that. Jeez. <laughs> oh, 
Jesus, man. Are you kidding me? Uh, let it all out. Except... I'd almost think somebody sabotaged this bike. Uh, yeah, it doesn't run off of water and it doesn't use lubricant as water. Uh, yeah, that's not supposed to be. <laughs> All right, uh, Lord. After you use your uh, clutch hub puller, they have them on Amazon. I don't know, they're not that. If, you, if you're gonna work, if you're gonna work on on shovel heads, you you're gonna have to have one of those. Uh, I guess you can make one, but as cheap as they are, just uh, Amazon. But anyway, when you when you pull off your clutch hub, you're gonna hear a little tink, and that little tink is gonna be the Woodruff key. I always call it the Wilson key. As I don't know. Woodruff Wilson, but it's called a Woodruff, Woodruff, Woodruff key, which goes right there. And it goes right here. It goes right here. It's a key. And it always kind of lands right there. Don't lose this. This is very, very important. Okay, it goes right in there. Hang on a second. Hey, Mr. Bug. You got to go. Thank you. Don't lose this. Very, very important. Don't forget to put it in. <laughs> uh, okay. Of course. Of course. No, I can't get it out. There you go. Anyway, um, as I said before, you know, uh, I, I actually, I used a, uh, I, I, Look down the cylinder. I, I could not figure out. This is my, my digital inspection camera. I looked down into that cylinder and I thought, okay, maybe this was in a flood. Um, but it, it's not. The uh, Other than carbon, the, the jugs are all nice and clean. There's no water anywhere else. There's only water in the transmission. And that leads me to believe that somebody, like a pissed off neighbor or something like that, Unscrewed this and poured water in here. Poured water into his transmission. That's the only way that I can think of that it got in there. It's definitely not flooded. Uh, it was left outside, but there is a seal on here because I opened this and I checked it. There is a seal on this, so it's not like water seeped around it. And like I said, there's no water in the motor. So that's the only thing I can think of. I have never seen water in the transmission and this has been probably a half an hour now and it's still coming out all right what we got to do is take off the starter there's going to be a bolt here and then there's going to be a bolt way in the back back there or actually back there but you have to get through get to it from the other side um this this one's an allen i always i thought normally they were like a half inch uh, but i'll take that off pull that out take these bolts off and get ready to uh, do the transmission bolts and get ready to uh, pull the um, pull the inner primary off. Which I pull the inner primary off, take off some of this fiddly diddly stuff because this is going anyway. I don't know what kind of snail that is. Uh, but I'm going to take this motor out, start rebuilding the motor. So, anyway, I'm going to take this off. Be back in a second. One of the things that I wanted to point out is that when you take off these nuts or these bolts, studs, there's going to be these washers, all right? If you don't take off these washers when you go to pull this off, it's going to get you a heck of a time. Uh, so you definitely need these washers. They're recessed to go in there. And yeah, there's more water in there. Um, so make sure that you get these washers out. And uh, I would show you way more, but listen, man, the, the biggest enjoyment of my life 
The biggest enjoyment of my life is I love to listen to music. And I'm a big music fan. I used to go to concerts and all that, just like everybody my age pretty much did. Uh, so when I'm working on things, I like to listen to music. I don't want to hear, I don't want to wear headphones. You see a lot of guys, they'll be, they'll have the little earbuds in and all that. For me, it's just, it aggravates me. The wire gets hung up and all that stuff. So I have a, a Bluetooth system that I listen to music on. So every time that I want to record, I have to shut off the music. And then it's just a pain, pain in the ass. But one of the things, and I'm, I'll fight you over it, man, is that whatever decade you're working on, you need to listen to the music from that decade. I swear it helps me so much. Right now, I'm, uh, this is the 70s. So I'm listening to all the 70s Zeppelin, uh, the Blackfoot. I'm listening to um, uh, the Greg Allman Band, Government Mule, Cleanest Clear, uh, Clearwater Revival, that stuff from that era, man. Late 60s, early 70s, the, uh, the, uh, the Shovelhead era. And it's the best music in the world, especially when you're working on these type of bikes. I don't know, it just kind of puts me in the mood, you know. I, I think uh, <clears throat> I, I think the, 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 the big wheel bikes that all you guys like, I think that they were uh, listening to, uh, I don't know, that Bieber dude, Beaver, whatever his name is, Timberlake or Timberland. I, I don't know none of those guys, but I think that's kind of music they were listening to when they created those bikes. But this... This is Allen Brothers' bike. All right, I gotta get back to work. I've almost got this pulled off. I've got water coming out of here. I don't know why. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, and I need to see what's going on here. I do see where the primary was scraping, scraping, scraping. Um, this bike is an absolute piece of shit. And I don't mind saying it. But when I when it gets done, it's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome bike. In fact, I, uh, Miss Didi came here a few minutes ago. I said, you know, um, this bike's a piece of shit. But I haven't sold no tickets yet, so technically I could still keep this bike. I'm a man of my word. When this bike is done, I, I guarantee you, and I hear all the time when, when, when guys are, you know, giving away bikes, you know, they're trying to drum up the sale. Oh, I hate to, I don't want to get rid of that bike. Uh, I can honestly say, I guarantee you by the time I'm finished with this bike, I do not want to get, I, it, it will have every, every bit of me, my blood, sweat, tears, and my cursing and everything else here. So, uh, yeah, man, there's just so much wrong with this bike and so much that needs to be fixed. But, but I, I'm enjoying it, so this is cool. All right, I'm getting back to work. All right, see ya. Just wanna give this love taps. Just tap it in the hole. Tap it in the hole. Don't hit it too hard. And I can tell that there was some type of leak because they've used uh, sealant. Just tap it in the hole. Just wiggle it, work it, it'll come off. Here it comes. Maybe not. What the heck? Ouch. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There you go. Voila! Well. All right, let me shut you off for a second. There is a, uh, on this side, I think you can see it. There's uh, a little, it's like JB Weld, but there's no crack here at all. That's not a crack. So I'm thinking 
Look, I don't know if you can see that. That's where the uh, kickstand was rubbing. I'm thinking maybe this is where the primary chain was starting to wear through. So anything I can think of. All right, let me shut you off for a bit. Okay, I found out where the oil was coming from. Uh, apparently, this seal here is leaking, and it's just filling up the, uh, the clutch, uh, the, the, the primary full of oil, and that's where all that oil is coming from. It's going to need a new stator. Uh, I don't know if this stator is any good. I can test it, but it's all full of gunk. And you know what? If somebody is going to win this motorcycle, I'm going to put a new stator in there. So... Getting a, getting a very long parts list. Still don't know why water is coming out of here, and I don't know why water is coming out of this one. I put this bolt back in. Uh, the only thing I can think of is, like I said, like somebody's poured water in there, trying to sabotage the bike. Uh, you know, I, I just, for the friggin' life of me. And while it's coming out of there, I don't know. Okay, got the, uh, got the stator off, or I don't actually have it off. This right here, this is supposed to be a clamp. This is supposed to be a clamp, which it clamps into, goes into the rectifier. Um, but for whatever reason, they made a solid um, connection. And then this is all silicone. Jesus, uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so I think that this, I haven't tested it, but I do think that this is toast. Um, there's like tons and tons of like metal shavings, but I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where it, because this is sealed. Um... Anyway, so I, I'll I have to get a new stator, a new, uh, I, I call it a rectifier, voltage regulator, volt, uh, rectifier regulator, whatever. This thing right here. So I'm probably going to have to get a new one of those. I'll clip these wires, clean all this crap out. Um, there was definitely oil in here, so I'm thinking that the oil is coming from this seal. Uh, thank goodness that this case isn't cracked anywhere so it's not coming from there so it has to be coming from this seal so so that's cool all right that's just another thing on the list the ever-growing list all right uh i'm waiting for my um i'm waiting for another engine stand i've got all my engine stands tied up with engines on them um so it should be in a couple days. And when, when that happens, I'll end up, I'll pull this motor. I'll get this motor pulled out so I can start taking it apart, see what's going on. Transmission definitely 100% is going to be rebuilt <clears throat> and or replaced. Um, hopefully internally, everything is good. My biggest concern is that the pinion gear is good in here and that uh, the bottom end is good. And then I'll, I'll redo the uh, top end, so. All right, get back. I got to get back to the music. Later. Ah, uh, you lose. No, I don't know how much... It, it's true, but the the guy that I bought this bike off of said that the guy that originally owned it uh, worked for a three-letter agency for, for the government, um, and then he died uh, suddenly. Now, the guy that I bought it from said that he died mysteriously, um, and it was sudden. So anyway... I don't know what he did for the government. I have, uh, whatever, man. But anyway, like, like on this bike, I keep finding like little weird inscriptions and, and, uh, stuff like that. What the crap? Um, 
like weird stuff, you know? Um, what the? Uh, the heck is? Well, this is old, like a like paper or something like that. It keeps ripping. Uh, let me see if I can. What the crap? Oh, it's like a note. What the hell does that mean? Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. I have no idea. Huh. Weird stuff on this bike. <laughs> Here, look out. Look out. Go. Do this. Go. I'd rather fight than switch. Say that. I'd rather what? Fight than switch. I'd rather fight than switch? Yeah. You don't remember the Tarrington cigarettes? And then you had the black eyes. The guy had a, I'd rather fight than switch. It was a Tarrington cigarette. You got, both your eyes are black from, from Greece. <laughs> no, I don't remember those. This thing is fucking Did you break it? I'm about ready to. This bike, everything on this bike has been perfectly pleasurable. One transmission, shovel head, kicker. This is the best transmission for a jockey shift. If it wasn't that bike, I'd put a jockey shift in it. I need to find out where the water's coming from. I wonder if somebody poured beer in there. Okay, those wires should pull out. Funny thing is, there's just, I don't, I'm still not seeing any wires over to this other turn signal. Is this, <laughs> <laughs> is this the biggest piece of crap bike you've ever seen? This is the biggest piece of shit. <laughs> biggest piece of crap, look at But it's going to be nice. It's going to be beautiful. Just like you. <laughs> And it's Pride Month. <laughs>